Hi, this is Greg of Pensacola, Florida. I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Creality CR10 and give my uh, final thoughts on it after about 400 hours of printing. Uh, Gearbest sent me this printer about a month ago and I did a first initial impressions video where I showed off some of the terrain like this piece right here. And uh, I had more time to play with the printer and mess around with the printer and print some more stuff that I'm gonna swing the camera over and show you in just a minute on what we printed. But I wanna just give my final thoughts as a tabletop wargamer and uh, how, this might, how this printer might help you out. If this is what your budget range is for a printer, I think it's a pretty good choice. So let me uh, move the camera over because uh, I don't need to be on it and we'll do some more talking and I'll show some of the prints off and give you my thoughts on what I really like about the printer. A couple things I think you should pre-print if you have the ability to ahead of time if you order one or um, print them once you get your printer and maybe one little nitpicky thing on a short cable. But let me swing the camera over and uh, we'll look at some of the stuff that I printed. All right, so I got the camera more pointed at the printer. And again, the printer is a 12 inch by 12 inch by 16 inch print. It's like 11.9 something, but just to round it up, just say 12 by 12 by 16. And I say I have to be really impressed with the print volume. The cost per square inch of what you're getting on here is really impressive. Um, and you know, like from the first video, you know, I showed a picture of a benchy that I printed, and I'll flash pictures like I normally do up during the video, and then I went into what my normal, you know, prints are going to be on here after the benchy. You know, this is more of a tabletop gaming channel, and so it's going to be, you know, I did these three blue pieces first and this was the first print after that and i adjusted my top layers and as you can see kind of on table that corrected any little shallow top layer problem i had so i just added i think two extra layers on top of there from what i had in my initial cr10 profile and it was good to go um i didn't have to change any retraction settings or anything like that and like i said i'm about 400 hours in now with the printer and i haven't had any issues i have no jams Everything that I've put, I'm using hairspray on the bed, sticks to the bed without issue, and uh, so far I've been really pleased. Uh, let me show off some of the newer stuff. So, I had a friend of mine who plays uh, a game called Full Thrust, and he was looking at a Star Trek um, Constellation class ship, and he asked if I could print this on my MOI printer, and I said, sure. And so, I took it and printed it, and I was looking at it, and I said, wow, that's pretty neat. It's got four legs on it. I bet you I could print this on the CR10. And so I took Simplify 3D, I added supports down in this area of the print, and then I printed it, you know, just like this right in the middle. And I'll put some pictures of, of it printing. And uh, that was a 71 hour print. That is the longest print. That's the longest single print that I have done um, since I've been 3D printing. You know, I've had a bunch of 40 or 50 hours, but for all one piece, and I just rescaled the model, added some manual supports down underneath, and printed it, and it came out really, really good. You'll see a couple lines right here, and this, I think, is where my first um, little nitpick is, is that the X-axis cable is short. And so when you hit about that 12-inch mark, up here on this, um, as it's moving up, the Z, you know, 12 inches up on the Z position, that cable that connects right here to your X, you know, the X axis and the extruder starts getting tight. So I had my box farther away from the machine, kind of like it is now. You know, that's usually about the distance I keep it. But if you're gonna be printing up here in this area between 12 and 16 inches, you wanna make sure that box is pretty close to this printer because that table, that cable gets a little taut and it kind of added a, a couple lines right here. But I shoved it in, it finished the printout with no problem. I had no problems with the support staying together all the way up, so it was really good. This here was a printable scenery model. I showed this off in the first video, but I think it's worth showing off again. This was 200% of the original scale and uh, I thought this came out really good. I printed it again at probably, um, you know, we play a war machine, so they use five inch objectives. And so I printed this as an objective that, uh, for the game Company of Iron. And um, so it's five, and I just scaled it so it was five inches across the bottom, printed it, it, you know, came out great also. The 
This piece right here is also by Printable Scenery. I haven't glued it together, but this is another one that I scaled up 150% of the original size. So this is one of your turbines. And again, no support, uh, default CR10 profile from uh, still using Uncle Jesse's with a couple tweaks that I put in it. And uh, it's working out really good. Scatter terrain, this scatter terrain is off Thingiverse and I'll put a link to the file on there. Uh, this is really good. This is a terrain that the guy made out of a styrofoam and sand and stuff like that and scanned it and turned it into a 3D model. And all I did is blow them up because they're, they're small pieces in the original size. So this piece right here is blowing up about 160% of the original file size just to get it a little closer to 28 mil scale. And then to ship, this is a printable scenery also. This is the frigate right here. This came out great. I think it's about six pieces right here. Um, four going across the hole and then the top decks and stuff like that. This was a great print. I didn't have any issues printing on a CR-10. I printed this with no support on there. So you can see a little line right here. You know, I cleaned up this little line where I had a little drooping, but other than that, I didn't use any support on this model at all. So that just speaks to the capabilities of this printer. And finally, this is a Atlas style tank. And I'll put some more closer, because this print just finished. I was waiting for this to finish so I could record this video. And this took 27 hours to print. And you can see the support all around this tank. Didn't break, didn't come off or anything like that. So it's solid. And the finish on this is absolutely incredible. And what's crazy is this was a little 10 millimeter model on Thingiverse. And I just blew it up to 28 scale. I went and looked at the uh, 40K uh, wiki to see what this would have been in real life and just rescaled it down to uh, 28 mil. So this stuff here, and I did a, a few prints of a Kickstarter that's coming up, but I can't show those right now also on this printer. Um, it, it's been three to 400 hours of no issue at all. And I think that's what you really want from your printer, no matter what price level you buy it, is that, you know, you've got, you want to print stuff, you know, you don't want, this is not a kit that came in 500 pieces where you're going to learn how to build your printer. You're just screwing in a few bolts and you're good to go. Um, the things that I do, you know, think you need to print again, are these giant uh, bed leveling knobs down here makes it so easy to level this bed on the fly um, the filament Guide that clips right up here by the Bowden extra. I uh, mean by the Bowden where the filament feeds in so there's a little filament guide I'll put pictures up there and the other thing I recommend is a Bowden clip because at one point I Don't know if I hit the end of this or a piece of terrain or just something happened that this got pushed in this tube popped out, and instead of feeding the filament into here, it fed it in a giant spaghetti mess behind me. I mean, behind the printer. So that, I basically had to clip it and then re the filament through. And then I went and I found out that they made these clips already for this. And so I put it on this printer and I put it on any Cubic i10. So, for impressions, you know, I've had to make her gear M2 for two years, 10,000 hours. I got a video coming out on that. Um, you know, this is a newer printer. This is in a different price range. Those two printers are just, they're two different classes of printer. But for less than $500, I think my coupon is at $369 right now. For the CR10 regular and then the CR10S, which is the dual Z version filament sensor and uh, power, loss, power loss resume features built into it for less than $500. If that is in your budget, these are fantastic printers. I mean, they really are. I'm shocked at how well these print, kind of, because I had my AnyCubic i3 before this printer, and I know how good that printer prints. And so I was expecting with the new, and I'd seen a whole bunch of CR10 videos, it's not like this just came out, of how well this printer prints. And so what I really like about it is, I don't worry about if it's gonna fit on the print bed to print. I just load the model up, how many I want, if it's one, two, three, and I just print it. That 12 by 12 bed 
it to it's perfect it's the perfect size for game train and not having you know being able to print what you want to print to put on the table i mean this is 200 percent of the original side i mean this is a huge piece this is this is great for the gaming table you know i couldn't print this onto any cubic i3 because it's an eight by eight by eight you know having that ability to go up to 16 inches i don't know if i have anything really i'm going to push all the way up to that but you know hitting that 12 inch vertical mark is nice having that 12 inch by 12 inch bed is outstanding because every file i download i pretty much know it's going to fit i don't do prop helmets and stuff like that so there's tons of channels out there that'll show that but you know for this 28 mil outlets tank i mean it's great it's centered right here in the beginning of the platform you're not worried about your edge leveling like i would be if i tried to do this on any cubic you know and for the printers being close to the same price you know within 30 dollars of each other or 40 dollars of each other this is just a really a fantastic buy the facebook community is huge the uh there's parts readily available if you need something you know the printer comes updated you know like i said it has the uh there's no 3d printed parts on here except the wheels that i put on it and the filament guide you know the over here on the side that's been replaced up here on the y you know this is metal now this is not 3d printed your uh up here at the top your z-axis you know where it holds that lead screw in there that's uh injection molded now the heat bed tensioning um that's injection molded now also so you're benefiting now from improvements that have been made for the cr10 the cr10 s4 and you know the rest of the line so this is a fantastic printer i mean this i could see if if you're looking to start a business you know you're in a 3d for 3d printing for profit group or something like that this is a great place to build your printer farm it really is because you can you can get four or five of these for less than two thousand dollars and you're printing because i've had i got a huge commission order i'm delivering tomorrow that that's why i'm filming out here because my office the printers are running full bore but i've had the four fdm printers that i own running 24 hours a day for the last week on there so i no problem finding work for these things to do whether it's for me whether it's for a friend whether it's for somebody that's contacted me that's hired me to print something so if you're looking to start up you know a little 3d printing you know printer farm th this is really a good look you know and uh i talked to my contact at gearbest she said my coupons should be good till the end of december so there'll be links down below if you'd like to use them, I appreciate it because it supports the channel. It keeps filament in the printer and stuff like that. Or you can just go to GearBest and buy it or buy it from your other favorite 3D printing person on YouTube because I'm sure somewhere they have a code on their channel too. And, uh, you know, it's a good look. GearBest liked my first video. They're sending me the CR10 Mini. Uh, that'll get here this holiday week. Uh, that's a 10 by 12 by 12 printer. So maybe if you don't have the space for this, it might be something that you're also interested in it's similar in price to this and so that'll be a point that i bring up about that so the plus is the 12 by 12 bed by 16 height huge plus the price it's absolutely incredible the level of print with this now that i get the level of printing that i can get off this printer for the same price that i had a wan how i3 two years ago that never in my time of ownership before I got rid of it did it ever print as well as this printer did out of the box all the tweaks all the modifications all the bars I put on that printer it never printed once as good as this printer prints consistently every time so two years of learning is you know I think has really helped this um, this aluminum extruded stock that they're using now I think makes all the difference in the world so if you're in the market for a printer uh, I can highly recommend it if this is your budget level on there for a printer I would highly recommend it you know if if your budget level is a little higher you know in the Ultimaker maker gear range you know those are options too but 
You know, if you're looking to start a print farm and have your own little 3D printing business going, right here. I really think this will launch you off the ground on there because it just works out of the box. The prints are great. All this right here is printed at 200 micron. Um, you know, so it's, it's fantastic, you know. Um, I sure do go through a lot more filament when you print bigger stuff on there. So it's, it's, I have a f some short rolls and I'm going to run through on the any cubic because it has the uh, filament sensor on it. And uh, you might see a CR 10 S here soon also, because I bought one during the 1111 sale because I really liked how this printed. So I decided to buy a CR 10 S and uh, so I bought that with my money and uh, that should ship shortly I hope but before that you're gonna see the uh, CR 10 mini um, that one was shipped sent to me by GearBest as was this so that's my uh, that's my look after three four hundred hours you know if you like what you see if you're a tabletop gamer if you like wargaming or you like stuff like that you know the proofs right here you know you can I printed all this stuff off within the last week you know so it it's not as fast as a maker gear but at the end of the day, what I want is I want the result I expect on the print plate when the job is done. So um, I've been picking up a lot of subscribers lately, and I really do appreciate that. I've got a, a Moai video. It's probably going to be next on there. I've worked on the uh, some of the Hero Forge stuff. So... Uh, you got plenty more videos from that coming up and I, we got there's a couple kickstarters in the works that I'm going to have videos up on so and This printer doesn't go away. It doesn't go sit on the back table and not get used anymore. So even the videos where I'm not You know an official review for gear best on this printer on my thoughts on there I'll let you know that hey, yeah, this came off the Creality CR 10 this piece over here came off the Maker Gear M2. This piece over here came off the Anycubic i3. You know, so you can see the type of prints that are coming off these printers as time goes on. Because I think that's where the real test is, you know, um, that w where we're going to be at 10,000 hours on this printer. I don't know. It'll be two years down the road. So you'll get to see what happens. And if something fails, I'll tell you about it. So, and we'll revisit the printers as we're going on. So, again, I appreciate you guys being here. This is the uh, Creality CR10. If it's something you're thinking about picking up, there are coupons and links down below, or just head on over to GearBest site and pick it up. And uh, there's some places in the U.S. too that, you know, if uh, they're out of stock or something like that on GearBest, but I think the stock level is pretty good, and uh, people seem to be getting their printers as they order them. So um, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.